had a, a question about racial passing as well. Would you like to unmute and, and maybe, because I didn't write it down, but I know it, you put it on the chat. Yes. Yeah, I was explaining a bit like how in the book, I like when um, Robert Johnson was given the opportunity mm -hmm. to be part of the what so-called like white section of mm -hmm. the where he could serve, he mm -hmm. chose not to. And like, was that part, was that partly because he felt like if he did that, he was denying that blackness inside of him mm -hmm. or was it like, he's gonna betray his black side of mm -hmm. him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's a good question. It's early in the book and Robert is uh, an enslaved person and he l looks light skinned enough that he could pass. And when he wants to enlist in the union army to fight the civil in the civil war, he's told that he has a choice. He can go into enlist as a white person or as a black. And by the way, the US military was broken into black and white up until the Korean War. In other words, even the military was segregated between black and white. Um, uh, I think one of the things to look for in the novel is what is the motivation behind each of the black characters who can pass, but who decides not to pass. Robert says, if I pass, I feel out of place. I think he says I'd be like a cat in a strange attic. Mm -hmm. um, for him, it's a level of comfort. You could put that maybe under culture. He was raised uh, in that community and he's comfortable in that community. I do think that Harper is interested in talking about a sense of responsibility and duty to one's community. And I think Robert uh, shares that. Um, so in that case, um, his choice is both um, this is the life I know and I'm comfortable with it, and also a choice to be where he feels he is best need, most needed. He talks about, um, I want to be a leader in my community. Being in the black side of the military will allow me to play that kind of role. Um, the question um, that you mentioned um, about the connection between passing in one's community, uh, that's often part of the drama in the novels and movies that talk about passing. In other words, how does the person who passes relate to his or her family when they may not be able to pass? In other words, can he, there's sometimes a very tragic scene where the character who passes sees a relative and can't acknowledge the person in public because that would give away their masquerade, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, I, it's hard to tell how common passing was or is, or even if it's something that people focus on that much, I think it shows up in the popular culture because of what I'm suggesting as the symbolic importance given to racial categories. But um, you know, you, some of you know that this, these DNA tests are getting popular, right? There's even TV shows where people get their DNA test and all of a sudden you find out the background. Um, one of the things that the DNA test shows is that there are a lot of people who view themselves as white who have racial ancestry that is not all white. Um, you know, people um, of color have often just taken for granted that they often have a mixture of different kinds of racial ancestries. Um, those kinds of understandings you would hope would gradually break down the idea that there is um, a difference. Um, one other thing about passing, there are other kinds of passing. It doesn't have to be blacks passing as white. Um, individuals pass if they can see that their life chances improve by identifying with a different group.